So I have a Spring Boot application which I would like to deploy in Amazon EC2 instance. Whenever you launch a new EC2 instance, it's always going to be attached with a security group. And the security group and EC2 instance itself is going to be inside VPC. VPC is a virtual private cloud and uh, whenever you launch a new EC2 instance, uh, AWS by default creates a default VPC for you. So any user who wants to use your application will send the request and it will go through VPC first, then to security group, and then finally it will reach to your EC2 instance. And that's where your Spring Boot application is deployed. But in order to allow this end user to use your Spring Boot application, you have to ensure that port 80 is opened at VPC level. If you are using default VPC, it is already taken care of. So basically you don't need to do anything here. Then you also need to open port 80 at security group level. And then finally you need to map port 80 of your EC2 instance with port 8080. So uh, this is required because whenever you launch a Spring Boot application, it, by default, it will be using port 8080. If you don't uh, map port 80 with port 8080, then the request will not be able to reach to your application and then it will always be declined and it will not work. So this is all we are going to do. Uh, with this, let's go to lab where I will be creating a new EC2 instance and will be deploying this sample Spring Boot application. So for the lab exercise, I have a demo application. So if I hit this endpoint, you see it returns hello cloud and tech. This is my sample Spring Boot application, just a get uh, API which returns hello cloud and tech. So let's go to AWS console. I will go to instances. I mean, you can see that I have two instances already running. So do not worry about that. I'm going to launch a new EC2 instance. Yes. Then I will just go to the next configuration. I'm just going with the default configurations. Uh, this is the security group we were talking about. So you have a choice uh, to select some existing uh, security group or you can create a new one. So I will just go ahead and create a new uh, security group. I will name it as uh, uh, Spring Boot Boot uh, Security Group. You and launch. Launch. Here uh, you can create your new uh, key pair or you can use some existing key pair if you already have. So I'm just going to use existing key pair here. Yes. So now uh, this EC2 instance is in pending state. I will pause the video until this goes to green that is in running state. Okay. So this is our newly created uh, EC2 instance. Now it is in running state. I will go here and just capture the public IP. And then uh, currently I'm logged in with my Windows machine. So I will be using it bash to log into this machine so here is my git bash and the first thing I will be doing is I will copy my uh, local spring boot jar uh, to newly launched uh, EC2 instance let's go ahead and use SCP command and copy the jar in the remote location so this will copy uh, my Spring Boot jar in the newly launched EC2 instance. I'll just wait uh, for this to complete. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check if it's really copied. So I will be using SSH command to log into my EC2 instance. And I will just check. Okay. So here it is. Uh, as you can see, the local jar is copied in my newly launched EC2 instance. Now the next step is 
uh, we cannot uh, run this jar without having Java on this machine so if I go ahead and check uh, the Java version on this machine you will see that it's not found so there is no Java uh, on this newly launched EC2 instance I will go ahead and I will install Java the Spring Boot application which I have built is uh, using Java 11 so I will be installing Java 11 on this machine so okay so if I check Java version now as you can see uh, Java 11 is available now and now I can launch my uh, Spring Boot application. Okay, so now this application is running on port 8080 as you can see here. So now uh, let's go ahead and uh, review our changes which we had discussed in the beginning. So we are here as you can see that you know uh, now we we have deployed our application Spring Boot application. Now we have to ensure that uh, the port 80 is open security group. So let's go ahead and make this change. Uh, this, this is my newly launched uh, EC2 instance. I will go to security. And this is the security group which is being used by this EC2 instance so I will go ahead and as you can see currently only port 22 is open here and as per our discussion we see that we have to open port 80 uh, on this security group so I will just go ahead and edit the inbound rule at rule and this is uh, HTTP so I just go ahead and you can select from anywhere that's all so just save this rule so this part is taken care of now uh, and as I told in the beginning if you are using uh, uh, the default uh, VPC this part part is already taken care of and we already have done this part the last one is we have to map this port 80 with port 8080 so this is the last part which is pending so let's go ahead and do this change so I will go ahead and open a new git bash console here and I will SSH to my machine and then uh, this is the command to map port 80 with port 8080 so I just go ahead okay so I see the problem here we go so that's all uh, with this change we are able to complete all the three things we have discussed here so I expect that this application is going to work now so I will just go ahead and uh, capture this uh, public IP address and uh, let's try to hit anyway this is expected because our endpoint is this one so here we go so we got uh, the message and this completes the whole exercise uh, you have successfully deployed your Spring Boot application uh, in AWS EC2 instance thanks for watching